Hi Gandhi class, it was so lovely to see you on our live session this morning. It was great to see that you're all doing so well and I'm very happy with the feedback that I've had from you for, about design technology. It's great to see that you guys are so excited and so engaged with this topic and um, I can't wait to see the inventions that you guys create by the end of it. Really excited to see that. So welcome to your third lesson for design technology, our wider curriculum lesson this week. And our learning objective for this one is, can I research and evaluate other inventions to help me with designing my own? Now, it's really important that we are researching and evaluating other inventions because it's going to help us with our own inventions. It will inspire us and we're able to take bits and pieces from other inventions to help us with our own, we're magpieing basically. So let's see what Dr. George Scott has to say about this. Okay, we will now be researching and evaluating other products. You may find something in these products that you want to use in your own, make a note of it. Let's start with my electric hairbrush. What do you think of it? So let's have a look. We've got some questions here to answer and a picture of the electric hairbrush. Now, what I would like for you to do is make sure you've got your pencil and your paper ready. So pause the video if you need to go and get that now, because we are going to answer these questions together. So I want you to do this with me. So pause the video, get your paper and pencil ready, and then we will begin when you're back. Okay, so our first question is, what is it? Now, I want you to pause the video and tell me, what is this? What are we looking at? Okay, well done if you've got the electric hairbrush. Now, I'm expecting full sentences for these. So we are going to write, this is the electric hairbrush. Now, remember, we need a full stop at the end of our sentence. Um, otherwise, it's not punctuated correctly. Now, what is the electric hairbrush for? I'll give you a few minutes to have a think. So pause the video, have a think. What is the electric hairbrush for? Well done, if you got it, it's for making your hair thicker and longer. So we'll write, remember full sentence, it is uh, to make, mm, not it is to make, that doesn't make any sense. Um, the electric hairbrush makes, your hair longer and thicker. Full stop at the end. Okay, our next question says, who do you think it's for? Now I want you to have a pause the video and have a think. Who do you think this is for? Well done if you've got that it's for people who are going bald um, or have little hair. Um, so we can use our text map to help us with this bit um, because remember it says it in there. So full sentence, we'll write, it is for people who have no or little hair. Okay, let's have a look down. What do you think it's made from? Again, use the text map to help you from talk for writing because this will really help you with your answers. So pause the video and have a think. What is it made from? Well done, if you got that, it's magnetic. So it's got magnets in it. It's remember, it's not actually electrical. I know it says it's the electric hairbrush, but it's not actually made from electricity. So um, if we use our science to help us here as well, magnets are usually found in different types of metals. So the hair, electric hairbrush is made from magnetic metals for the full stop at the end. Okay. The next one says, what feature or features from this invention would you like to use in your own design? So have a look at that picture. Is there anything in there that you would quite like to have in your own invention? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I really love the fact that it's got engraving on the brush. I think that looks really, really nice. So remember engraving is when we carve into a hard surface, a hard flat surface to create lots of designs and putting some text on it. So I'm going to write um, the feature I would like to use in my own invention is the engraving because I think it looks, um, hmm, I think it looks really great. Stop. 
Okay, and then our last question is, is there anything you would do to make their invention better? So pause the video, have a look at that picture. What would you do to make it better? Okay, so personally for me, I think it needs a bit more colour. I think it's, um, it's just one colour and I think it looks a bit boring and a bit bland. So I'm going to say, I think oh, um, that this invention needs some colour to make it better. Full stop. Okay, so then hopefully you will have finished your one of these. Um, use mine to help you, but um, I would love to see what you guys have to think, have to say about it as well, especially with the features from this invention that you would like to use or anything that you would like to do to make it better. Um, and now what I would like for you to do is I want you to look at these two Victorian inventions here and I want you to research and evaluate these. So you're going to answer these questions just as we've done before, but with these two inventions instead. So here you've got the penny farthing, which is kind of like a bike. It's like a bicycle. It's um, but with one big wheel and one small wheel. And then here you've got a Victorian camera. So you've got to tell me what it is, what it's for, who you think it's for. So who would use the penny farthing? Who might use a camera? Um, what do you think it's made from? Now, I know this is a bit hard um, if you're not entirely sure, um, but have a look at it. Have a look and think what you think it may be made from. Um, if you are able to do a bit of research, then fantastic. That would be great as well. If not, um, have a look at the picture and I want you to put your best guess. Then what feature or features, so you could pick one or more from this invention, would you like to use in your own design? And is there anything you would like to do to make their inventions better? Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry um, and I can't wait to have a look at it. Bye.